monitoring situation. They're uh, dealing with, you know, some of these homes here in this block are vacant homes. So the tactical units have to go into each vacant home one by one and do a diligent search of those and clear them. They've also got peacekeeper units from Baltimore County and I believe Howard County responding to assist Baltimore City with this operation. But there is a large contingency, and I mean a very large contingency, of law enforcement presence here uh, right off of Bennett uh, dealing with the situation to try and uh, locate and apprehend uh, this individual that they're searching for. It just kind of seems bizarre there because the information that I'm getting is that uh, this was a blatant attack that the officer was just, you know, shot, you know, out of nowhere. Uh, we haven't heard that he was, they were approaching the individual, that the individual just came up and shot him. Uh, the officer's gun, along with his radio, is still here at the location uh, that we've been able to confirm. And that uh, city police are doing the best they can. But, you know, dealing with this large area as far as the block goes, dealing with vacant homes, uh, suspicious vehicles that they're dealing with, they have to, uh, you know, clear them one by one and it takes time and they have to move slowly and diligently to make sure that they don't get hurt. So it's still a very hot situation here on Bennett uh, while city police deal with this investigation. We'll continue to monitor as we get more. We'll update you reporting live in Sky Team 11. I'm Captain Roy Taylor. Right, Captain Roy, thank you very much. Something right. going on in Shock Trauma? Yeah, again? we want to go back out to Barry Sims, who's live at Shock Trauma with the very latest for us. Barry? Well, Police Union President Gene Ryan arrived just a few moments ago. Again, he is here with Mayor Catherine Pugh, Police Commissioner Kevin Davis, and also State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby. All of them we have seen come in this evening shortly after this all happened. We understand from the police department, the police department has confirmed that an officer has been shot, but that is all that the police department has said so far. Sources have told us that the injured officer is a detective and he is gravely injured. He, what we understand, has a severe head wound. Again, that is from sources who have, uh, we've been able to get that information from. We understand that we're also waiting for the uh, detective's wife and family to arrive here at shock trauma. We know that uh, uh, at this point that uh, we understand that uh, the family's from out of town and uh, on the way here. Let's just give you a, a sense of what's going on here. Um, right here, this is uh, the ambulance entrance to shock trauma. And through those doors, that's where we have seen uh, the mayor and we have seen others go through. Um, we see other uh, police officers um, have arrived here as well. There are a number of uh, police cars that are still here at the, at the scene that are uh, parked up along uh, this drive for uh, shock trauma. And uh, we have been seeing officers and, and others go in and out of, of the uh, hospital here on Lombard Street. Lombard is still um, pretty chaotic. I did take a walk down there just a little while ago. and. Down on Lombard, that is where a, a lot of other police cars have been parked from officers who have gone inside the hospital. And that has taken the lanes, the traffic lanes, down to uh, one or two lanes in certain areas. And also up at MLK, just up the street, that is where um, police cars are also blocking um, a portion of that. And so uh, cars and vehicles have been detoured around all of that. Again, we are waiting to hear from the police ab about the situation, waiting to hear exactly uh, 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 any information they can give us dealing with the officer. Um, the mayor is here, the uh, police commissioner, and again, as I mentioned, uh, Gene Ryan, who is the president of the police union. He arrived just moments ago, and the state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby. She is here as well. When Marilyn Mosby arrived, the commissioner came down. He greeted her right here at this door. He talked with her just for a few seconds and then both of them went inside. So we're still again waiting for any information we can get from the doctors here at Shock Trauma and also from the police department about the officer. Reporting live from Shock Trauma, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.